Moving along to the snare tracks, we have two snare tracks here, snare top, snare bottom, probably a couple of SM57s, um, the top head and underneath capture, capturing the snares and the, the, the snap of those snares. Now I, I think I have some teaching on this in the tip section a little bit later on, but let's show it here while we're mixing as well. I've zoomed in at this particular point in time and you notice anything about these waveforms. Where this goes down, this goes up. Where this goes up, this goes down, right? And that that's something that typically happens when you put multiple microphones on the same source because it, uh, it takes time for sound uh, to move through. Also, the the uh, the motion of this of the um, of hitting this top of the snare takes a takes a few milliseconds to get through the snare and then those snares to react. Sometimes these can be out of phase, and if you've learned anything about uh, multiple, you're mixing multiple um, waveforms that are out of phase, they will tend to cancel each other out. This uh, happens with uh, you know uh, the whole idea of humbuckers. Um, balance lines, what else, you know, a, a typical example is if you see a bunch of waves in a pond, if you uh, make another disturbance in a pond that have waves that hit those crest to crest or trough to trough, you can lose a lot of energy. Now here's what happens in this snare track, in fact this is what I did, I brought out a channel strip on the snare bottom right here and there's a little button down here, tiny little innocuous button. That's phase. Now let's have a listen to what happens when we have phase in and out. And why won't that do it? Okay, now it's doing it. Okay. So let's have a listen to it where this would be the way it would naturally be is that these would be playing in exactly the way they were recorded. Actually, let's solo these. Now let's switch the phase, this is just a channel strip on the snare bottom. On a lot of mixes you'll have this right there uh, up by the gain, uh, but just look for it to phase switch. Now listen to that snare drum, listen to the bottom end of that snare drum. And out. It's almost like that fundamental goes down about an octave. And so all that's doing, if I go back to this area here, it's just flipping the phase of this so that th these can kind of build on each other rather than cancel each other out. And a lot of that happens in the low end, you'll really find that. This is not per se an EQ uh, tip in, in terms of you know us using an EQ, but the, the phase switch on things that are recorded um, with multiple mics can really help your recording out. Just flip that and you'll get so much more bo more bottom end rather than that bottom end being robbed and then you have to manufacture it some, somehow with EQ. This is a lot better way to get uh, that low end back on your, um, your snare drum.